Hey everybody, Star Wars Junk back again, and today we're going to talk about the recycling of Star Wars. <sighs> God, not again. They're not going to talk about how The Force Awakens just ripped off A New Hope, are they? We've heard this so many times. There he is, beating that dead horse. Get him! No, this isn't what this video is about. This is about how Kenner recycled the old Star Wars toys into newer lines, or how they took previous lines before Star Wars and recycled it into Star Wars. What are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> Here's an example of what we mean. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves by Kenner. Sure, it was a great toy line and an okay movie, but what did they do? Take a look at the back of the guard. We have the Ewok Village, the Battle Wagon, and some of the Ewok accessories. That's right, they just took the molds from the Ewok and worked them into this toy line. Let's take a look at Robin Hood and some of the other lines Kenner recycled. First up, let's look at the $6 million man CB headset radio receiver. How did they turn this into Star Wars? Well, this is how. The $6 million man CB headset receiver became the Luke Skywalker AM headset radio. Ooh, AM. The $6 million man headset wasn't the only thing Kenner recycled. They also recycled Dip Dots. Right, the painting design book, Dip Dots was redone from the $6 million man into Star Wars. And it didn't stop there. They even took the recycling to the bathroom. That's right, the $6 million man toothbrush became the Star Wars toothbrush. Now you could get your teeth as white as Obi-Wan Kenobi's hair. Hey, remember this? It's a 6140 Econoline, the original modern day van, and here's a new original, the 76 Econoline. It's changing van history again. Nothing said the 70s as much as a van. So, when Star Wars hit it big, what did Kenner do? They took its Kenner SSP van series and made it into, you guessed it, a chick magnet. At your local Ford dealer, he has what California drives. Kenner's Aerial Aces target game was just like having a penny arcade in your home. I'm not exactly sure what a penny arcade is. I mean, I've been to many arcades, but I've never seen one that takes a penny. Anyway, how did they make this into Star Wars? Easy. The Star Wars X-Wing Aces target game. They even kept the name Aces. But they did take away a slogan of bringing a penny arcade into your home. This time, they wanted you to bring home a shooting gallery. In the early 80s, Kenner released an offer for his fashion line, Glamour Gals. In this offer, you got a free action figure stand. Well, excuse me, a free fashion stand. But wait, doesn't that look familiar? That's right, Kenner did it first as the Star Wars action figure stand. Wait a second. Is that a... Why is there a Han Solo Bespin action figure on that stand? And an R2-T2 with a sensor scope? Do I need to even say anything about this one? <laughs> Bullshit. For the Kenner preschool line, we got the Ewok family hut. It was so cool that kids even wanted to get their hair cut like it. However, we already saw this playset back in the 70s when it was called the family treehouse. This recycling of toys didn't stop after Return of the Jedi or the Kenner Star Wars line ended. In fact, it kept going, such as this laser rifle taken from Star Wars, turned into the Batman Sonic Neutralizer, 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 from the Dark Knight Collection. Battling evil with his mighty crossbow, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. We're under attack! No other toy line is as infamous as taken from Star Wars as Kenner's Robin Hood, 
Prince of Thieves. Got it! Dark Warrior, fire the bullet bomber! Look out! We still got another weapon, Sheriff! Fire the net launcher! Ah! The forest is safe again, for now. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Figures and accessories each sold separately. Probably the most famous from this line is the Sherwood Forest playset, which was released earlier as the Ewok Village. The Ewok Battle Wagon was also recycled into the Robin Hood collection. Even the action figures didn't escape this recycle. If you're anything like me and like to undress your action figures, then you would have noticed that Friar Tuck had the body of a Gamorrean guard. But Robin Hood didn't just steal from Star Wars, as ActionFigureInsider.com points out with these photos. Robin Hood had the body of Green Arrow. Even the G was on his belt. Little John had the torso and arms of Hawkman and legs of Batman. Dark Warrior had the Hawkman torso and arms. Obzine had torso of Shazam and arms of Green Arrow. The Sheriff of Nottingham had the face of Robocop's chainsaw, torso and legs of Lex Luthor, and arms of the Green Arrow. Will Scarlet had the arms and torso of Robin and the legs of Destin and the voice of Jack Nicholson. Wait till they get a load of me. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's it, the recycling of Star Wars toys. Did we miss anything? If so, leave it in the comments below. And until the next video, keep your eyes on StarWarsJunk.net. Peace out! Raindrops are falling on my head And just like the guy's feet are too big for his bed Nothing seems to fit Those raindrops are falling on